Hello everyone, it's Jen here, the Diamond Painting Gamer. Very warm welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well today. Um, yeah, let's get on with it. So um, before I get started, a couple of little announcements. Uh, first of all, sorry I haven't been around for a little while. Don't worry, I'm absolutely fine. It's just I've had the most uh, stressful, busy time at work over the last couple of weeks. I've done lots of overtime, worked, you know, a couple of weekends in a row. I've just been too tired to do anything. Too tired to diamond paint, definitely too tired to make videos. Um, I've done quite a bit of gaming as well. So, yeah, that's why I haven't really been around much. Um, but anyway, uh, I'm off this week, which is really good. Um, I, I needed the break. Um so um yeah i'm resting recoup well not so much recuperating but because i wasn't ill um but uh re resting um getting my mojo back and uh yeah becoming a little bit more refreshed uh, another announcement is i've actually got a roofer um doing some jobs around the house uh, on the roof at the moment um so if you hear some banging or scraping or what have you that's what that will be so um, apologies for that if it comes through. Anyway, paint gem, as you've probably noticed, is what we're going to look at today. So this is going to be kind of like a two-part video. First part is um, I'm going to show you my completed um, space set. I've done set one and set two. Um, so I'm going to show you the completions. Um, we'll go through them. Um, they are awesome. I will tell you that for a fact. They are absolutely awesome. I love these wee paint gym minis. The second thing I'm going to do is I'm also I'm going to unbox the mystery set from Paint Gem. So spoiler warning in effect from now. Um, for those of you who are interested in the mystery kit but want it to remain a mystery. Um yeah it will be coming up after um i've done look to the space pictures so yeah i will give another spoiler um warning um before um I, I unbox it just to make you aware it won't be sprung upon you but if you want to stay around and you want to watch the unboxing of the mystery you're more than welcome right space set i did both of them um, I had these in at work. Um, I hadn't finished them all, but uh, I finished them at home. Um, let's have a look at the space sets. So we had set one and set two. So let's look at set one first. I've got my crib sheet for what they all are. Um, actually, let's try and oops, wobbly. Let's zoom in a little bit. There we go. So first of all, we have the Eagle Nebula. Now I've got the curtain open a little bit here, so hopefully uh, we're getting a little bit of sparkle. Because paint gem kits are sparkly. So that's the Eagle Nebula. This is Andromeda Galaxy. Told you they were awesome, didn't I? I love the dark backgrounds. The backgrounds were either um, black 310 or navy, dark navy 939 on most of these. So the brighter colours really stand out really well against them. So that's Andromeda. This is an asteroid. That's really cool. I like that one. This is Helix Nebula. Looks a bit like an eye in the middle. And that's like my eyes after like I've, I've had a, a session. <laughs> oh black hole. That is all 310, by the way, in the middle. There's there's no um, gradient. There's no change in colour. That, that is like basically all 310. This is Ursa Major constellation. And this is the Milky Way. I like this one. I think this is my favourite. Hey, the Milky Way. Saturn, of course, with its rings. And that comet. 
actually this comet's quite cool see if you when you're looking at it under the camera that comet looks really 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 cool and this is a supernova Ooh. oh these were awesome so that was space set one let's have a look at space set two and um, so space set one was more sort of like astral bodies and things like that space set two is mostly to do with space exploration but there are some kind of like really cool astral stuff as well and i can hear my roofer scraping he's got he's doing some painting as well you see so he's probably just scraping off old flaky paint out there <laughs> right oh the sun's gone behind a cloud as well never mind i can still see apollo 11 ready to take off on its expedition to the moon i like that that's lovely and this is the first moon landing that'll be um uh, neil armstrong there with his flag I love this one this is just so bright oh, this is absolutely gorgeous so this is the sun <clears throat> um, but obviously you can see that I think that's supposed to be Mercury Venus Earth and Mars around the sun and this is Earth from the moon that looks amazing actually that really does look amazing you know there's like north and south america i mean even um with the naked eye you know not through the camera and not at a distance i can tell that's north of, that that's supposed to be north and south america really 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 good rendering uh we've had the sun we've had the earth and now we've got the moon this is all blacks and grays a little bit white in there as well Different shades of greys, really, really, really neat. Uh, this is Butterfly Nebula. I think when I unboxed this, I said, oh, that looks like a little bit like a butterfly. And then I read that it was the Butterfly Nebula. <laughs> so yeah, lots of lovely blues in that one. This one is the first moon landing and it's a footprint. It looks really good actually through the camera um in real life maybe not quite so much again this is all shades of gray oh i like this one a quasar that really stands out against that i think that's all 939 that background i don't think there's any 310 in that that really stands out i love the the dark navy with the orange and the yellow and the red awesome Okay, we have a satellite and it's Sputnik flying over Earth by the looks of things. Maybe the polar regions. And the very last one is called Landing on Mars and it's the Mars Rover. That's like, I like that one too. I like a lot of these actually. I didn't think I would be, I'd like the space ones quite so much, but no, I, I really, really, really do like them. Okay, let's zoom out. Oh, wrong way. That's it. So yeah, there, those, are our, those are our two sets. So we have set one, sorry, set one, set two. Really did like them. Um, absolutely super. It normally takes me um, a couple of lunch times to do one of these at, at work. So, yeah. And okay, over at Crafting with Kay has got um, one of the space sets. Right, okay, so that is my space paint gem. I'll put away. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause. And I'm going to uh, look at the mystery one. Okay. So, uh, yeah, back in a second. 
All right now, okay, so this is the mystery edition um, of the Paint Gemini's kits. So, if you want to get this and you wish it to remain a mystery for you, um, then I would uh, recommend <laughs> stopping now. And um, what I will do is I will say goodbye to you. Um, thank you for watching the space stuff. Um, it's you know been fantastic. Thank you for thank you for um, giving me your time. Um, but uh, we're now going to move on to the mystery one. So that is your spoiler warning. Right, is everybody that's wanting to check out the mystery one gone? Or not wanted to check out the mystery one, should I say gone? Cool, right, okay, we're going to start. Um, one of the things that disappointed me some, somewhat about this mystery edition is the fact that these are not all new images. Um, at least I don't think they are, but I, you know, they're not all new images. They're actually from existing kits. So that's a little bit disappointing. But still, it'll be a different experience doing them as a mystery because some of these kits I've already got. So um, if you look at the back here, um, we've got three of the museum pieces from the museum kits, which I've done. Three from national parks, which I haven't, which is fair. Three from space, which obviously I've done. Um, two from around the world and one her story. Um, I've not done any of those ones. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We've got 12 mist little mini mystery diamond paintings. So I wonder if I can work out what the space ones are and what the museum ones are. Mm. Mm. <laughs> okay, let's get into it and we'll see what they are. Um, okay, dokie. Uh, toolkit, first of all. Lovely little canvas bag. Quite a soft canvas, not a, a rough canvas. I like these little bags. Oh, oh, this is slightly different, I think. Um, because I'm sure that in the last kit I got, I got blue wax. So we've got a little um, caddy with some pink heart-shaped wax. I think I got blue heart-shaped wax before. Um, some white tweezers, plastic, but these are actually... I was about to say these are actually quite good quality. Hmm. They're not as good as previous ones that I've had. I think they've changed slightly. I don't have a pair of the older ones about, but these don't seem to be as good. A bit more flimsy. I'll move out this out of the way. Uh, we have got a sparkly pen with a black comfort grip. That's not changed. We have a 10 placer, which always makes me laugh. But I think we've got a two placer, three placer, two or three placer, it's hard to tell, um, which is slightly more um, useful <laughs> for these um, mini kits. They are the wider placers, they're not the narrow ones. Okay, two kit aside. Let us see what we have in our mystery box. So we have our gems. Um, I've got a feeling there's going to be a wide variety of colours here. I'm not going to take them out. Uh, paint gem are square and they are resin drills. So very good quality, very sparkly. Um, these are great if, if you haven't done squares before and you want to try them out. Um, as I said, variety of colours here because it's mystery. We've got basically every every colour of the rainbow there. We've got blues, teal, sort of aqua. There's quite a lot of browns, peaches, yellows, grey, green, a little bit of red, black. Here goes the sun in and out the clouds again. Right. And in here we have our um, canvases. We should also find a sticker sheet in here as well. Let me see if we have a sticker sheet. And then we can have a look at the colours. 
how many colours there are. I just think there's going to be a lot. So yes, we have a sticker sheet. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, uh, 4 12s are 48 minus 2, so there's actually 46 different colours in here. So, yeah, quite a lot of colours. Um, you get the symbol with the DMC number on your sticker sheet. These are really, really good. And here's the mystery paintings. Right, okay, so... um. I don't know what ones, you know, what what's history and what's landmarks and what's space or anything like that. So I think this might be history because I can vaguely see the outline of Lady's face. Um, the printing is really, really, really clear. You would kind of expect that in these um, mystery diamond paintings. Let me give this a wee measure because this is actually quite big. Can I find my tape measure? Hmm. Where is it gone? Where has it gone? Um, hmm. Where's my tape measure gone? Hold on a sec. Okay, I have found my tape measure. This is like obviously um that, that, that's a face is there I can just about make it out. Um, it is ten by fifteen centimeters, so it's actually a reasonably decent size. So that is um, our uh, first one. Um, okay, so these two, so I think that, that's her story. These two look like they might be the around the world ones. Um, so we have, um, I can't really tell what these are. This looks like it's got like a circle up here, maybe like a sun or something. Or, But they're definitely, I think they're probably landscapes maybe. And this one's maybe more like a building. It looks like some kind of tower. Um, as I say, I haven't done those kits, so uh, I am completely in the dark about these ones. These are slightly smaller and they are 8 by 12. Okay, these three are space. Let me see if I can work out what they are. Um, well, that's definitely some kind of planet because it's round. Um, this looks like, that's round here, it looks like it might be some kind of comet. Actually, you know, to give it its dues, even though I've just finished these space ones, it's quite difficult for me to, this, this might be, no, it's not, it's quite difficult for me to, um, work out what one's what. So kudos for that. Kudos for that. I, 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 it's very difficult for me to tell. Awesome. Okay, uh, next three is, I think it's are going to be the National Parks. Yeah, I think so. I haven't got a clue. <laughs> I haven't got a clue for these ones. Oh, the space pictures, by the way, seems we measured the other ones. The space pictures measure seven and a half. Okay, seven and a half by seven and a half. These are all centimeters, by the way. National parks. I haven't got a clue. I think they're all American national parks. I may be wrong though. As I said, I've not. Um... Oh my gosh! Screaming going on out there. Um, at the high, the high school's out for lunch at the moment. I live next to the high school. My God, you would think somebody was being murdered. Um, <laughs> National Parks is six by um, nine. Um, yep, 
again I can't tell what these are so pretty good and then the first three are the museum pieces um, these are the ones I'm most convinced I might be able to tell what they are um, that is that looks like Van Gogh whoops you can't see sorry um, that looks like Van Gogh um, I'm not too sure about the other two though <gasps> that one could be you know with the man and the, the woman um, no I don't know I wonder if these are are you I don't know <laughs> I'm flummoxed. Anyway, the um, museum pieces are six by nine as well. So, you know, I may be wrong. I, I may not have done these before. You know that I'm thinking about it. I don't know if these are repeats. I know those, t the, those categories are repeats, but whether the, the actual paintings themselves are repeats or not, I am not entirely sure now I'm thinking about it. I need to go back. I don't think there's a Van Gogh. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. I'm back with a news flash. The titles may be repeated. So the three museum ones, three national park ones, three space ones, around the world history ones. But um, I don't think, unless I'm looking at this a bit oddly, I don't think the actual pictures themselves are repeated because that to me looks like Van Gogh's self-portrait. It's the only one I can definitively say, actually, I think I know what that one might be. Unless it's a Mona Lisa. Because that's a face, or Girl with a Pearl Earring, because that's a face looking that way and that looked a bit like a beard I'm going to do this one first because this is the one I think I know what it might be and yeah so I may be wrong I may be wrong because uh, I have purposely avoided looking at um, videos to do with the um, the uh, mystery kits I haven't actually looked at any of them it was just my understanding or, or, you know, I just jumped to the conclusion that because the categories were the same, that um, as, as other kits, that they would have lifted pictures from other kits. But I think, I hope, I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. And these are different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this one up. And, um, yeah. I'm going to do this one and I will get back to you at the end of the video. I'll show this and I'll get back to you at the end. Because um, if it isn't one of the museum kits, then it'll all look good. It all looks good. Yeah. Back in a minute. Ooh, exciting. Okay. Well, <laughs> as you can see, I was right. It is uh, Van Gogh, self-portrait, uh, which wasn't in the original museum um, selection. So um, it does look like I was wrong. The, um, you know, you, obviously I'm yet to do the other ones, um, but certainly this is brand new. This one hasn't been done before. Oh gosh, there's a cat scratching at the door. I'll just finish off the video, then I'll sort them out. Um, yeah, so uh, this definitely was not in in the original museum set, in this bangle. So, so yeah, I'm looking forward to doing those now. I think uh, I think we'll all be good. I think there's going to be no duplicates. Hmm. So I don't know when I'll, I mean, I'll work on the other ones on and off. Um, I will show them at some point. So those of you who are interested to see what uh, the the mystery kit paintings were, you you can, you can have a look. Um, as, once again, um, 
if I do decide to show them, I will um, post a spoiler warning just uh, to make sure that people that don't want to see what the um, pieces are, uh, you know, you know, don't get the, the, the thing surprised for them, you know, don't get it surprised, you know, spoiled for them. The surprise spoiled for them. That's what I was going to do. That cat is just putting me off out there. He's probably wanting food, <clears throat> but it's just like, oh, anyway, I'm going to go and sort him out. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed seeing the finished space paintings. Um, those of you who are interested in the mystery paintings, um, I hope you've enjoyed seeing the unboxing and seeing this little one finished. And um, yeah, if you give like the video, if you give it a big thumbs up, please. Um, if you'd like to subscribe, I'd love to have you here. There's been a few new subscribers lately. Um, very warm welcome to you. Um, and uh, yeah, I hope you stick around. <laughs> anyway, um, thanks once again. And um, yeah, I'll see you all in the next one, folks. Okay, cheerio.